On any given playoff night, Steve Burt will come off the Phoenix Suns bench and play 10, 15 minutes. He'll score seven points a night. Hardly the kind of numbers that jump off the stat sheet and grab your attention. But Steve Burt's story will. Here's Paul Ryden. If you stitch together every basketball jersey that Steve Burt has slipped on in the last eight years, you'd have a ready-to-wear gazetteer of the world. Since leaving Iona in 1984, Burt has stopped at Golden State of the NBA, Albany of the CBA twice, Savannah, Georgia, back to the NBA with the Clippers, France, the Philippines, and Oklahoma City, not to mention those offbeat leagues at Long Island, New Jersey, and Halifax, Nova Scotia. And on February 14th, he landed in Phoenix, the promised land. I was stunned. I mean, I was stunned for like three days. You know, I, was, I, was, I couldn't even play, but I, I think I shot like four for 20 that game, something like that. Because I was thinking, like, God, this has been so long, and now finally it's here. After his living lesson in geography and perseverance, no land can be considered promised to this guy. But so far, his performance has earned him quality minutes off the bench and even an occasional start. It's all part of the education of Steve Burt. No situation too small, no obstacle too great from which to learn something. In Albany, for instance, he learned that he... I thought I was better than I was. At Long Island, he found out... I was nobody. And in virtually every new port, he was given... Another chance. But those nomadic days of wandering with his gaze fixed on the NBA were frustrating. Exasperated, not wanting to become another jobless jock without a future, Steve finally just dropped out of basketball and into a master's program. For two years, I couldn't watch, I couldn't watch basketball. I didn't want to look at it. I played a little bit, but I didn't really want to play that much. Uh, I went to grad school, and the whole time in grad school, I'm working on a computer, and I'm thinking jump shots and behind-the-back passes and everything. So back he went. Earlier this year, he made an appearance in the CBA All-Star Game, and a month later, he was back in the NBA. The news from his CBA coach sent him from Oklahoma City dribbling on air. I was like, my heart just started beating real fast, and I, I got really excited, and I was like, come on, stop playing. You know, don't play. You know this is what I wanted. He was like, no, really, man. He gave me a hug and everything, and he said, you know, I'm glad for you, man. He said, go up there and, you know, don't come back. Think of all the places Steve has played, if you can count that high from the Philippines to Phoenix, and think of them as bricks being laid on a foundation. And remember, whether you're building on the foundation of a career or a brand new arena, you need patience and a plan. I remember each place fully, you know, because each step I took, I, it was a plan. You know, I wanted to go here. If this is where I had to go, I'm gonna do it. But I always had my mind set on trying to get back to the NBA. So each, each place I went was a brick in the house. The house, is there now, but I need a roof. That's the last piece. If I can get the roof, then my house is built.